Hi friends, today I am back with yet another scientific article that discuss about the solar minimum. So today morning I uploaded a video on Earth's magnetic field reversal and the solar minima are much closely related. So let's get into this article to find out in details. But the um, uh, high up in the clear blue noon time sky the sun appears to be much the same day in day out year after year but astronomers have long known that this is not true the sun does change properly filtered telescopes reveal a fiery disk often speckled with dark spots sunspots sunspots are strongly magnetized and they crackle with solar flares magnetic explosions that illuminate earth with flashes of x-rays and extreme uv radiation the sun is seething mass of activity until is not every 11 years or so the sunspots do fade away bringing a period of relative calm this is called solar minima says dean Pesnell of nasa's border space flight center in greenbelt and it's a regular part of the sunspot cycle the sun is head heading towards solar minima now sunspot counts were relatively high in 2014 and now they are sliding towards a low point expected in 2019 to 2020 while intense activities such as sunspots and solar flares subside during solar minima that doesn't mean that the sun becomes dull. Solar activity simply changes the form. For instance, says Pesnel, during solar minima, we can see the development of long-lived coronal holes. These coronal holes are what are they? They are the vast regions in the sun's atmosphere where the sun's magnetic field opens up and allows streams of solar particles to escape the sun as the first solar wind. Pesnel says, we see these holes throughout the solar cycle, but during solar minima, they can last for a long time that is for six months or more streams of solar wind flowing from the coronal holes can cause space weather effects near earth when they hit earth's magnetic field these effects can include temporarily disturbances of the earth's mag mag magnetosphere called geomagnetic storm cause geomagnetic storms auroras and disruptions to communications and navigation systems during solar minima the effects of earth's upper atmosphere on satellite in low earth orbit changes normally this earth's upper atmosphere is heated and puffed up by uv radiation from the sun satellite in low earth orbit experience friction as they skim through the outskirts of our atmosphere this friction creates drag causing satellites to lose speed over time and eventually fall back to earth drag is a good thing for space junk natural and man-made particles floating in orbit around earth drag helps low earth orbit clear of debris but during this solar minima this natural heating mechanism subsides earth upper atmosphere cools and to some degree can collapse without a normal amount of drag space junk tends to hang around there are unique space weather effects that get stronger during solar minima for example the number of galactic cosmic rays that reaches the earth's upper atmosphere increases during solar minima and galactic cosmic rays are nothing but the high energy accelerated particles towards the solar system by distant supernova explosions and other violent events in the galaxy Pesnil says that during solar minima, the sun's magnetic field weakens and provides less shielding from these cosmic rays, and this can pose an increased threat to astronauts traveling through space. Solar minima brings about many changes to our sun, but less solar activity doesn't, of course, mean that the sun and our environment as of space uh, makes it less interesting. So guys, I hope you people have understood that how this magnetic field reversal of earth and that of the solar minima of sun, all these things are related and how they are gonna uh, affect our mankind in recent few years. But the thing is that hope that we can come, we can deal, out, deal uh, with all these natural calamities and disasters that we are going to face in the next few decades. And uh, hope you guys like this video and I'll keep on updating any uh, recent topics on science and any recent topics on the solar minima and magnetic earth reversal. So thank you guys if you like this video please share, please do share among friends, like and subscribe.